So this is a Ugandan chapter and I'm writing this chapter and the, that's why we have all these meetups, uh, most helpful uh, technology for social good. So today's topic is going to be on how strategically and productively we can position ourselves online because being online is not enough, uh, but uh, how you can actually position yourself to tap into a number of opportunities online is what is making a difference. And that's what the, everyone online has to understand. It's not just a matter of getting online, but you have to get online with a strategy. Yeah. So today we are going to basically look at that. Uh, before actually and look at this slide. So I'm the log test text soup connect to Uganda chapter host. And we must uh, this is a program of the tech soup global. And that is their website. If you were non-profit and you want to like get or to tap into these opportunities or technology for non-profits in your country, if you don't have a chapter yet, please, you can always contact the global coordinator and you'll be able to take through, to take you through all the processes, or you can even contact me, then I can make an introduction. Uh, then, uh, the tech soup connect is a global network of tech for good meetups. And that is the URL or that. Then we have the tech soup is a nonprofit that helps other nonprofits get treatment and use tech effectively. Yeah. So you can utilize in most cases, those opportunities, when you register with them, you are able to have access uh, to the technologies that they donate to nonprofits. Yeah. And if you need actually assistance with that, please feel free always to, to ask, uh, I'll be able to make a connection on that. Okay. Let's go on. Uh, they, this is an introduction of today's presentation and it is states as the world is turning to the screens for business, education, networking, ETC, uh, one needs to know exactly what to do online and how to strategically and productively position him or herself. Yeah, that's what I mentioned. It's very important. It's not just a matter of being online, but uh, you need to think of how you can actually strategically position yourself and to strategically positioning yourself online. It requires a number of combination of things, uh, your content, uh, your presence there, the network you build. Uh, and a number of other things that we are going to be covering in this presentation. So this event will discuss key issues in relation to the subject and equip participants with knowledge and skills they need while online. Things to do with the following are going to be discussed today. So how you keep online? how you productively engage your audience, how you build the community online. So we are going to look at that and how actually you keep your community engaged. It's very important. Let's look at this. What do you need to be online? So we need the following to be online. We need basic computer skills. That is very important. I've seen people around, especially in Africa. Some people, they don't have like best computer skills, but like when they get a smartphone, just go online and you find that times they get lost and they don't have those basics. Make sure you acquire those basic computer skills. They can help you because those commands you, you learn. 
they are the same commands that you can apply to every other platform. They don't differ. But then you automatically need the internet. Internet is very important for you to keep online. If you don't have internet, uh, then it is very important to be online. So that's what you need to understand. Like uh, internet nowadays, like in Africa, in most cases, it is still expensive, but uh, we need to devise ways of uh, keeping online because it is the order of the day and we, we don't have to excuse ourselves. Then you actually, you need digital gadgets. We are going to look at these gadgets because if we talk of like di digital gadget, you find that uh, people are thinking of like very expensive gadgets, which is not the case. You can deal with a, a simple gadget and you can still make productive work with it. Yeah. Then you also, you need the, yeah, actually, yeah, you put this point, you need a smart head and a brain. Yeah, because like internet, I, if I, I, I can talk of the internet, it's like an ocean. It's big, full of everything, full of opportunities. If your head is not smart enough, then you just get lost on the internet. But if your head is smart enough, uh, you can be able to catch up with most of those opportunities. So that one, take note of that. Then of course you need friends. That is a very, that, that is very important. Friends, it is very important for you to choose the kind of friends you have online. Those friends, they can actually help you to cut out certain tasks. You are doing a fundraising, you are doing a campaign, you are doing what? So these are the people you are going to be involving. So it is uh, actually very important for you to strategically, strategically pick on the friends online. Not all of them are productive. So pick on the productive friends and then work on the trust level because you understand that we meet on online virtually and uh, at times we don't know each other. Uh, so a person has to actually understand who are you? Are you a credible person? So you need to think about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some people, they need the presentation. I'm going to, to share this presentation after this meeting and uh, each one of you is going to be getting it. Let's go to the next slide. Yeah. The next slide is which kind of gadget you need. Yeah, that, that, that is also very important. The gadget you need for the online communication, online digital communication. So you need to have an internet enabled digital communication gadget. It's very important. So if you like, you talk of a phone, you have to understand the, it can it connect to the internet? You have a computer, can it connect to the internet? If not, then it's not good enough for you to use it. So it has to be internet enabled. So when you go shopping for your digital hardware, put that into consideration. Uh, then also today the handheld, such as smartphones and laptop, is just good enough for you to go. Yeah, if you have a smartphone, and you have a laptop, yeah, you have everything you need for you to do productive work online. If you have a smartphone alone, at times it might not be enough because there are certain other tasks which actually requires for you to be having like a laptop. Yeah, and why I'm saying that for a smartphone and a laptop, if you have two of them, you are good to go, it's because now like the smartphone, they have put everything in the smartphone. It has a camera, it has the audio input. So you can do amazing things with your smartphone. You can shoot a video, you can shoot a photo, you can upload all this to your online digital platforms. And again, it's wonderful. 
because what the smartphone can't do, the task which you can't do on the smartphone, you can do it with your laptop. So those two, they are really very good. At this generation, we used to have a phone, you have a laptop, and then you have a digital camera. But now being with the digital camera at times is not such necessary because a good smartphone with a good camera is good to go. You don't have to have everything. So with that thing, now we can understand which one actually we can go shopping. And then though some people own more than a smartphone and a laptop, but knowing how to work with the digital gadget you own is very important. Else it becomes like a show of gadget. Yeah. I see some people uh, here in Uganda, I, also in Africa where I move for events. Uh, you find people with very powerful laptops. A, a person has everything at his or our disposal. Uh, but if you, if you, you evaluate how much he does with those gadgets, you, you find that most of them, they don't do enough with those gadgets simply because they don't know how to work with those gadgets. They're just moving around just to show that, yo, I have a very expensive gadget, but he, you have it very expensive, but you don't know how to work with it. You don't know you can exploit it. Then it is very useless for you to own. And then another thing is how much you exploit the digital gadget you own is what makes a difference. Else it is not all about how expensive your gadget is, but rather how much productive work are you using it for? You get the point. You can go shopping. Uh, most of you are in Africa. If in Africa, if I, uh, I buy my laptop, if I buy my smartphone, I evaluate with this gadget. You get the point. Eh? How much opportunities have I got by using this gadget? Most of the gadgets that I use, uh, like they serve me, I really exploit. I exploit the gadgets I have. You find that maybe I, I, I bought a laptop maybe at a thousand US dollar, but when I sit down and how much opportunities it has created for me, you, you find that uh, you, you get the point. Yeah. So you sit down and it. how much opportunities are you able to, to tap into with that gadget. If you see that it's not make it's not making progress for you as compared to the investment you put in, uh, then you have to rethink your strategy or what you need. Maybe you don't have the skills, or maybe you don't have good friends. You don't have a community. You don't have a, a community which can actually feed you with opportunities, because in most of these opportunities you get them through networks, through friends. If you don't have productive friends online, and then it's very difficult for you. And also, how do you keep on, how you can tap into the opportunities online? This is what you have, you have to understand. Like when you visit any website, anything, make sure you subscribe if they have that op option. If you subscribe to a website, to anything, so it means that if for any update, which they publish on that platform, then it will be automatically, uh, channeled to, to, to your inbox. So you, you, you should understand that. And uh, then yeah, productivity, you, know, you will agree with me. Most of you live here in Africa. Uh, I live in Africa whenever I travel, if I from maybe Europe or US. I, I see that here in Africa, we've not utilized these uh, gadgets to the maximum to tap into those opportunities. Uh, you find some people who have access, um, again, they don't have the skills all the time. They're just wasting time with the gadget. You find a person has a, a very powerful laptop, a very powerful smartphone, but he all the time is playing games, is watching movies. 
Huh? You see those things like playing movie, playing playing game. That one can be done when you like you want to refresh yourself after doing productive work online. So that that's what you need to understand. Just a moment. Yeah. So that, that's what you need to actually to understand. Uh, these gadgets, we have the digital gadgets. Yes, they are for playing games and what, but go play game or listen to music, watch a movie with it, like after you've exploited it, you've created the connections, you've made new connections, you have responded to your emails, you've written on submitted proposals. Yeah. So you task yourself like uh, in a week, how many connections can I make on Facebook, on LinkedIn? And how many can I engage? How many can I stay with for uh, such a long time? So you need to always to understand that. Let's, this slide is which kind of online platforms do you need? The platforms, the number of platforms, there are so many which have been developed. We have the social medias, we have a number of them. But consider the following before you choose an online platform for yourself, your organization, your business, and so on. Make sure that the platform is really easy to use. If it is not easy to use, then it means that you, so you better look for something which can you, which you can easily, where does that platform reach? Is it within your country? Is it within your village? Is it within your, your continent? So think about that. Or is uh, go and find out how many people that platform. And also you try to look at the, which kind of people on that platform. If you choose a, a platform and this reach is, it's not good enough. Also, it means that, uh, so with platform, for example, if you think of Facebook, I think now it is the biggest social network with the highest number of subscribers in the world. What does that communicate to you? So you'll know that it's the biggest with the, uh, so many people around the world. So it is, it's like an ocean. Yeah? It's like a lake. Yeah? If they tell you, oh, this lake, it has so many fish. So you will know that, oh, the possibility of getting fish out of this lake is uh, good. And uh, you, you need to work on the strategy. So I will now to work, catch that fish. So also with the Facebook, so many subscribers. So if there are so many, how are you going, how are you? utilizing that space. You can utilize it by creating communities because like most of the social medias, they have the option for you to be able to create communities. Like you can create a Facebook page for your business, or for your project, for your organization. And then you invite people to like your page. So whoever likes your page, then that one has come to your community. So now what you have to think of how you can actually sustain them. Sustaining them, not through paying them money, no. But you have to sustain them with the content. Those people, they need to hear from you. Which content do you have to share with them? We are going to look at the kind of content, how to come up with good content, how good content looks like. So all those things we are going to do, so you, you need actually to work on that. Then also you have to think of the page. Uh, I have an organization, I need donors, or I'm a student, I'm looking for a thing like that. So you have to think of who to reach to and how to do it with most of the social networks. They have most of those tools and applications which can enable you like to specialize this selection. If I want to reach to people in the US, people in Europe, a certain country, I, I can go to settings. You make sure that before you begin working with your social media, 
you can choose which kind of people you, you meet and how we, actually you can get hold on them. So you have to think about that. Uh, then also security. The, the security the, is very important. Security is very important when you're on the social media platforms, like physical security, like you have a home, you have a house, you can put a pen, you can do all those other security measures to make sure that you and your property and your children are safe. So also with the social media, you have to think of a social media with the highest security. As if it has no security, if security is not guaranteed, then it means that your products and services on that has no security guarantee. So it's better then not to work with it. At the end of the day, you'll find that you post the content and the content is messed up. So think of the security of the platform you are working with. And before you begin working with the, any platform, make sure you check on the settings. Settings, it, 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 you can check on the security settings. You can check on a number of other settings. So to make sure that everything is fine and then you begin getting engaged with the people online. And then also you make sure that the, the platform you can visually interact. You can visually interact. Does it have all those applications you need to interact like in the real world? So if it doesn't, then leave that one. So inter in interaction, it, mean, it means that, uh, yeah, sorry for that. Visual interaction. It means that uh, if like you, you visit any content online, you can interact with that content. For example, are you able to build the community on that platform? If I talk over Facebook, I'm able to build the community according to my needs. Or if I have my organization, I can create a, a Facebook. A page I can create a group if I have a project something like that so I can build my own community and I bring them in one place and tell them oh this is what I do so whatever you post your community is able to actually access it. and also you are able like to share and also you are able to access like videos photos text and audio so all that, if the platform is able to, like, uh, to give you all those options, then that's a very good uh, platform. I think right now we have all the social medias and that uh, the social media platforms, they almost have the same options. You, you find that most of them, you can comment, uh, you can really share the content, uh, and then you, you, can, you can do any other thing uh, like we do in the real life. When you meet a friend, the way you interact, so you have all those options to make you interact. And then lastly, you have to make sure that the, the platform you're working with, you can actually analyze and evaluate your activities. If I, I have a Facebook page, I have to, to understand how many people have liked it, uh, how many visited it per week. Most of the social medias, they have those options where you can actually go and check on the analytics or how your platform is doing, how many people have joined this week from which country or something like that. Let's go to the next slide. The next slide is what determines your target audience. Your target audience refers to the specific group of consumers, most likely who are interested in your products or who should do what is your program, what is your project, what is your organization dealing with, or you as a person, for example, you might be a researcher, you have a topic you are making research. So you should understand like uh, which kind of people you, you need to, to think about that. So the audience here, uh, for example, uh, I'm having my, uh, an organization in Africa, NGO. So my goal 
is like to get supporters, donors. So my target audience, I'm looking at the donors. I'm looking at the volunteer. So where am I getting them? So that's why I'm saying that you need to know where and uh, use all those applications, which can end up you like uh, fishing them. Like when you go in the, in, in the lake to, to fish, huh? the kind of fish you, you want. So you understand which kind of gadget to use, which kind of. So there you, you think of the skills to use. And this is what you have to understand that, like I'm, I've always uh, mentioned, that whenever you meet a person online, is not trusting you because everyone has been conned online, is not trusting what you are talking. So first thing, work on your trust level. How can you prove yourself to that person that you are the real person and what you are talking about is really the truth? So you first, your first engagement, I, I, I think you, 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 you have to work on that. How can you bring the travel there? But he has the resources to invest into your project. So how can you make him prove that? So the trust level, that one is, is not, is built with time oh, we are going to look at the i think the second last slide it has that uh, ingredient which you have to understand like when you want to tap into the donor opportunities how can you bring a donor on, on board and how can that donor really uh, trust what you are saying and then also what determines your audience is the target audience may be dictated also by age by gender, income, location, interests, or a number of other things. So it depends on the goal you have, what you need with your audience, online audience. If you're an organization and you are looking for sponsors, that's income and then, so you also have to think how, how you can actually get connected to them and how you can actually engage with them. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, what determines you are, because the content is very important when you are going to, to be productive online, it is very important. What determines your content is your audience and the goals you have. If you create, for example, a Facebook, a, a Facebook page for your organization. Your goal is to fundraise, maybe to get donors. So your target audience are the donors. So you have to develop the content which can match the kind of donors you are looking for or the kind of clients you are looking for your business. Uh, if you have a business and uh, you, you create a Facebook page so you, you have to understand your audience, which kind of content do they need? Uh, for example, you can be dealing in a proper mortgage or something like that. But then you, you, you should understand, uh, you have to understand uh, your audience, which kind of are you looking for to buy your property? And uh, or where can I find you? Why, where can you find them? So all those things, you have to incorporate them within your communication strategies before you can actually engaging everyone. I have a plan to begin engaging people. Our next slide is how to package your content. Our content packaging is very important. If at all, you need to register tangible success online. It's very important. The following are the key which you, you actually, which you need to know. This is a key. If like you are working on the content to share online, first of all, create truly valuable content and always be objective. In the previous slide, we said that we have to think of the audience. So now you have the audience need to consume your content. So the content for your audience has to be variable. And when you're like uh, developing it, you have to be objective. Then another thing, 
you need to re to use the right tone of voice when you are like developing that content. And then another thing you need to incorporate the visual. Avoid as much as you can just to share plain text. Uh, a video and a photo can attract somebody to your content. And video and photo, they speak much than just the text. So like you are sharing anything online, make sure wherever you can have a photo, attach a photo, attach a video. Then also you need to be brief, but very clear. This is because people have no time online. They have much to catch up with online. Everyone is online looking for opportunities. So don't take a long passage from you. Work on the content. Be clear, be brief, straight on the point. And that one has to be at the back of your mind that everyone online is very busy. So you have just to read very little, understand what you are saying. Uh, let's go to the next slide. Still on the how to package the content. Your content has, you have to make it shareable. Make it shareable. So if a, a friend picks the same content, can share it to his own network. That is the beauty with these digital technologies. They can share content to a wider audience through friends, through those other networks you've created online. And then make it easier to read and understand. Use the language which people can read and understand very fast. Don't use complicated language. Don't use complicated English. Use simple English. So everyone can be able to read and understand what you are, you are talking about. Then be original and authentic. That is very important. Make sure you originally generated that content. And make sure it's authentic. It, it is true what you are Talking of is very true. Con anyone, you are not, but it's the truth. What you, you are saying is the truth. Because if a person like discovers that, oh, his content is not good, no. So if you, you never have that person, and again, that person go again, tell other people within his own network. So you'll find that you are going to lose up and people can subscribe to your content. So make sure you are faithful with what you are actually sharing, what you are talking about online. So that your credibility will again attract so many people to be able to work with you. This, I think this is the last slide. How to productively engage and motivate your audience. Building a community is easy. You can go create a Facebook page, uh, be on, on Facebook, people, be friends, even you can have, how are you productively engaging? Uh, for example, if you have a fundraise, if you are fundraising for your organization online, uh, can they be able to come in and help you with that fundraising? So you need to think about that. So before you plan first, before you begin engaging with people online, don't just come up and then you start the beginning engaging people. No, have a clear plan. Once you have a clear plan, then you're going to win so many people online and they'll be following you. They'll be following you not because of you, but they'll be following you because of uh, the good vision you have. And then also. Always be objective and consistent with the kind of content you share online. So don't just share anything on because people are watching, they are watching, they are watching from a far remotely. Uh, what is John doing online? Uh, he's always uh, sharing on agriculture. So you find that somebody somewhere is interested in the topic you always actually talking about online. So eventually that person will be able to get in contact with you. And also the content you share, like the search engines, they will always pick that content 
they'll pick a topic. Somebody is somewhere, maybe is doing a desk research on something, and the, you are the people, you are the person who has been sharing much on that topic. So there's a very, there's a possibility that your content will be picked on by the search engine. And that's how we get in touch with the donors, with other people to work with in our various organizations. They get to us through LinkedIn, through Facebook, through Twitter, not because of our names or what, but because of the content. He's searching for certain content, he finds it online, and the content is attached to your name. We'll always contact you. But then I'll also always sharing something online. Don't just create a, a, a Facebook page, a WhatsApp, anything, and you just leave it too much. No, make it active. You have all the gadgets to make you create content. Your mobile phone is able to take photos. Your mobile phone is able to shoot videos. Get use of those gadgets. A video speaks much. Shoot a video. Put just a text, one, one line. People, they will always follow because they need to watch. They need to see those photos. But then I always get involved in others' online businesses. Always like and share, comment on other people's content. Like, for example, when you, you create your content online, most of you, like uh, on Facebook, how do you feel? Like, uh, you feel very good when somebody put, uh, co comments, likes. So the same way, like when you do to other people's content, they will always feel good. They will say, oh, there's value in what I'm, sh I'm sharing. And that's when you begin, like, to tap in those people's circles. So you find some of them even they are sharing to their platform. So begin liking people's uh, content, begin commenting, you share. Huh? If a friend has a birthday on your Facebook, wish them birthday, at birthday. Huh? That one will take just a very short time. So with that, it begins to build like uh, some kind of connection between you and that person. But uh, then be on more than one online platform. Don't just be like on, 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 and on every platform, go make unique communities of practice. If you're on a Twitter, get people to follow you. If you're on a LinkedIn, get people to follow you. Not the same people following you on the, yeah, you can have some, but you can have like different communities on different com uh, platforms. And when you do like that, for example, if on Twitter, you have a thousand followers or LinkedIn, you have a thousand, Facebook, you have 2000 uh, and another platform, you have 500. So you find that you have a very big community. If like you, you have a fundraising com campaign you are making, you are able to engage that community, then be able to travel and meet people. The same people will confidently introduce you to their network, their networks. That is very important. I know like in Africa, uh, it is always a, a very big challenge for us to, to travel. When it comes to traveling upload, our economical status, you find somebody raising, he has to sell something, getting all those arrangements, traveling to those countries, you find it is always a, a very big challenge, but wherever you have opportunity, it doesn't mean that you, you need money to, you, you, you can look for scholarships, sponsorships. Uh, some of you, you can write conference papers and uh, maybe the organizers there, but give you like a, a scholarship for you to be, for example, you, with people there. Network, show them what you are doing. So that person you've met physically, that will remain a friend. And whatever, when, even if you come back to your country, uh, when you contact that person, you'll always 
know that what you are talking about is the truth. And then you can stay in contact for a very long time. So traveling and meeting people is very important and they always work on that. It doesn't mean to travel, travel money, but you can look for scholarships and the best thing to do for you, like when they call for papers, please submit your abstracts. Make sure that you, you have a very good setting abstract. So if the organizer is good enough, is able to sponsor your flight ticket, your accommodation, and times then can also support you with the, the feeding. Yeah. Thank you again for listening and uh, for keeping time. I know it's, uh, one hour it has been long ever since we started. And uh, we uh, take soup Grobo for giving us the opportunity to give up, giving us this platform. Uh, where we can actually organize the meetups and share with the world. And then the Youth Time Bank, we thank you always for being with us, uh, encouraging us and supporting us in one or the other. Uh, then Web2 for ICM for actually keeping us together. In most cases, we keep together through our Web2 and please continue utilizing those opportunities shared. Uh, you never know, an opportunity can uh, make a change for you, for your community and their family. Yeah, thank you so much. Maybe if you have a question, please, you can ask. I need this. Okay, I'm trying to share here, yeah, but the, I need to put it in the drive. I put it in the drive, I post the link. Uh, please stay on, stay on. Yeah, just stay on. Let me upload it to the drive. Yeah, if we have a question, you can ask us upload this on the drive. Yes, Robert. Yes, please. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Robert, for yeah. that wonderful presentation. And also a very big thank to TechSoup Global for this initiative. I'm Ed Sonorema from Bulisa. Mine is just an appreciation. It's not a question as such. Okay. Because you have really hinted on a lot of things that have been internally asking myself about, especially when we are to evaluate our gadgets. Me, I use a smartphone. But in most cases, I've been evaluating myself. To the extent yeah. that I realized that a smartphone I have within a period of a year, when I reach that extent of exposing it off, I find like I've made money, which is almost 10 times than what yeah. uh, I used when I was buying it. Then that one, to me, it was a very positive move to me. Meaning oh, that oh. what I've been, I've, uh, what I had in heart was helping me positively. So oh. thank you so much. And I know this one has really awakened my mind that it is going to help me make sure I make a very useful use of the gadgets I have so that I benefit. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for appreciation and also sharing with us. Thank you so much. If you have a question or anything to say, uh, please do it as uh, I'm uploading this to share. And that while others are using the uh, online platforms, which challenges are you facing in your country? If you are if you need to talk there, you unmute yourself with challenges. Uh, like I mentioned, like that's so global, like uh, it uh, helps non-profit mostly uh, with some technology solutions. Um, so it depends on where you live. And then you can always like uh, apply uh, for those opportunities free of charge. You don't have to to pay just to need to prove to them that you, you, you are a non-profit. Let me know if you can download the presentation. I've uploaded it. You can click on that link. I'll put the link in the chat. Can you upload it? Can you download it? It is still failing. It is failing. What does it say? It's not logging in. 
Uh -huh. Let me see. Okay, let me try to pick it. Let me try again. Okay, okay. Some people have failed to open it. In fact, uh, mine panel has worked and I've downloaded it. In fact, the first one, okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, so mm. if it has downloaded this piece of work for you, then I am very sure it can work for others. I will just give you like maybe uh, two minutes for you people to download, then I have to end this session. Uh, someone in the chat was uh, asking how to avoid that cars online despite saving password. Yeah, I think like nowadays, because of what I see with most of the people, if you have a gadget, then you don't have to just share it, especially the mobile, the smartphone. Right now, our smartphones are managing so many other things. Uh, so you don't need to uh, lend it out because if uh, somebody has access to it, then it is very easy for you to be acting to. And then also you don't have to uh, open the links, which you don't actually know the source. If you don't know the source where that particular link is coming from, please don't open it on your gadget because some of them are used just to for phishing your passwords. So if you open it on your gadget and you have saved the bar passwords on your gadget, then it's able to pick most of those passwords. Yeah, so don't do it because most of them, they use it at all. There's a promotion, do this and this, please don't. Because there's no free thing in the world. Yeah, so that's what you need to be. Just be careful not to share your gadget, uh, non token links you don't know the proper source and then also yeah yeah wherever you're online okay the link has worked okay yeah you join later you get the recording no problem yeah so members thank you for attending and thank you for keeping time yeah we'll meet again thank you so much